Good morning. We welcome on live stream to Santiago de Compostela, the people praying with us um, online. And we welcome the people here. Let's take a moment. Let us greet the people who are here as we come together as one community. On this Thursday of the 17th week in Ordinary Time, let us begin our celebration singing number 716, Table of Plenty, number 716. to the table of plenty, God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and sit at my table where saints and sinners bow. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You heal the sick. <clears throat> Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. You forgive sinners. Christ eleison. Christ eleison. You gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to build, hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. This word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Rise up, be off to the potter's house. There I will give you my message. I went down to the potter's house, and there he was, working at the wheel. Whenever the object of clay which he was making turned out badly in his hand, he tried again, making of the clay another object of whatever sort he pleased. Then the word of the Lord came to me. Can I not do to you, house of Israel, as this potter has done, says the Lord? Indeed, like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, house of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. 
blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Put not your trust in princes, in the sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. When his spirit departs, he returns to his earth. On that day, his plans perish. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord, his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, yes. And he replied, then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. When Jesus finished these parables, he went away from there. The Gospel of the Lord. When Jesus finished these parables, he went away from there. It was a fair number of parables Jesus proclaimed in the Gospel of Matthew at this point. Each parable was like a seed, and each one had to be heard, listened to, and pondered even over and over and over again. It's one reason why we hear the same readings in the liturgy every year, not every year, but on a three-year cycle. And it's rather amusing, their answer, when he asked, do you understand all these things? And they said, yes. You can almost hear their little bit cocky air. But in fact, Jeremiah gives us a little better picture of ourselves in the first reading. When he says we are like clay in the hand of a potter. And it's a very telling symbol. Whenever the object of clay which he was making turned out badly in his hand, he tried again. The image kind of suggests like the potter's making the mistake. But no, the clay has a free will. And however good the potter may be, if the clay has the power to resist his efforts, well, it's not going to turn out well. But however stubborn the clay may be, if the potter is omnipotent and also infinitely merciful, he can even make the resistant clay come out to be something 
even more marvelous than he first intended. And that is the amazing truth about our divine potter, whom we call Abba. When we resist, he can always draw greater good even out of our evil will. So, dear brothers and sisters, on this day, when we begin a couple minutes late, because I got carried away thinking about, well, something that St. Paul teaches in his, re in his letters, weak. It seems that weakness is a characteristic feature of God's most chosen instruments, not because he's looking for weak things that will always be yes people, but so that, uh, but because he chooses instruments who do not resist his efforts so that he can make them even as great as himself, as astounding as that may be. So that a little 13 year old girl in Galilee, Nazareth of Galilee of all places, with her yes, could become the vessel that brings the savior of the world. Let us respond with faith, childlike faith, to God's invitation to enter his kingdom. In humility, let us ask him. Our response, Lord, make us worthy for your kingdom. Lord, make us worthy for your kingdom. That the church may never stop proclaiming the gospel to all people, places, languages, and cultures. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us worthy for your kingdom. That peoples may not remain closed within particular traditions, but enrich one another in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us worthy for your kingdom. That those who possess nothing in this world may inherit the richness of Christ's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us worthy for your kingdom. That those who are discouraged by the pains of their trials and sickness may not close their hearts, but learn to grow through their sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us worthy for your kingdom. That the dead may be welcomed into the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us worthy for your kingdom. For Maximiliano Maldonado and for the repose of the soul of our dear Father John Block, for whom we offer this Holy Mass, as well as for the repose of the souls of Benito Ramirez, Jim Kikta, Alfonso Madrigal, Lino Proto Martir, John Denny, Tina Bill, and Roger Inson Jr., for the healing of Milton Tennant, Brian Santos, and Sujiamiko, Mai Lao, Finian Mead, Jose Lopez, Maria Para, Christopher Perez, Yiki Pineda, Inz, the Inzen family, and Jana Malabanan. And in thanksgiving for Chelsea Sanchez, also for those petitions and intentions we carry deeply in our hearts and those in the Ark of Prayer and in the other box. Before our altar, we pray to the Lord. Lord, make us worthy for your kingdom. Lord God, make us share in your love, open to all people, and welcome all with our brother Jesus Christ now and forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest his resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Pleni sum celi et terra, Gloria Tua. Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomine domini. Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this blood, we proclaim your death, O Lord, 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolles peccatum, miserum. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall. Blessed 
are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. And for the sake of our brothers and sisters joining us via live stream, we pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling 
may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who go about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Our closing hymn. Number 453, Holy God, we praise thy name. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord.